Hey everyone, Pat Galette here from Dragonfly Art Studio. And I just want to say uh, how I keep going through all of this. You know, I mean, this time, this time is so incredibly difficult. It's so, um, how do you keep yourself uplifted? How do you keep yourself from getting dragged down into whatever, you know? How do you um, keep moving forward in life? You know, there are things that I do, and one of the things is this live, you know? So if you're here, give me a little encouragement, give me a thumbs up or give me something here. Um, but the thing is, um, how I keep going and how I want to encourage you to keep going is to see this time as a personal opportunity for you to really learn more about yourself and get deeper about life and make conscious choices and uh, create a life that you really love, you know? I mean, this is a time when everything is turned on its head. This is a time to try new things. This is not a time to be getting into thinking. Um, don't share any anything that you don't like. Don't keep it, get it out of here. Get it out of your life. Get it out of your friends' lives. You know, share only things that will put you in a good space. Let's say that. Not a time for thinking, it's a time for doing. Release anything. You have to let go of anything that doesn't work anymore. I mean, I have tried so many things and they just didn't work out these days, you know? And there are things that I have, you know, I've always taught, you know? Now I'm saying, well, all right, then um, this, there's gotta be a different way. What I seek to do here is I seek to reach more people um, if I can be encouraging to you at all, you know, to do art, that would be fantastic. To find and build a creative life for yourself, that would be incredible. But you really have to let go of all the things that don't work. I see a lot of people grasping for like first thoughts or grasping for the old way and that doesn't work anymore. This is time to experiment, you know, find all the things that are your favorites. Find the things you love. Experiment with them. Surround yourself with those things. Um, make them a part of your life, you know? Look for the good. Look for the good always, you know? We don't need to be dragged down any more than we are already. It's a time to rediscover yourself. We all have so many innate abilities and we've used certain ones to get to this point but that old world, you know, was created for us. We didn't make it, you know? And it had a time schedule, nine to five. It locked you in, it gave you an identity, but those were all just things we did. Now it's time to make our own choices. What things do you wanna do? What do you really want to do with your life, you know? What do you want to do with this day? These are your choices. You make a choice, if it doesn't work out, you make another choice, you know? With each thing, you learn more about yourself. And this is a prep time because a new world is being creative right before our eyes, and we're gonna find our place in it. And, but this is a prep time for something we can't even imagine at this time. Life was always shifting and changing. We just bought into that illusion of where to plug in to make a fit for ourselves. And today, we just have to um, live more in consciousness. We have to think for ourselves more. We really, really have to think what works for us? What keeps us safe? Where do we wanna be? Where do we wanna be a few years from now? You know, this is all important stuff. This is all that matters, you know. Um, there are days I have a lot of confidence and days I really, my confidence is not as strong. And I just wanna say that, I mean, there's all kinds of things coming up here. Well, okay. Um, this is one of those days, you know, when I'm real confident, I can just go in and do a painting and I can just not have a plan. I can make my marks, you know, and just have a palette out 
and just paint. And I really love those days. And there have been two this last month, you know? And I didn't record those two at that, at that point. I just did them. But today is, you know, there's, I needed to do a little more planning. I need to surround myself with inspiration. That's what I encourage you all to do, you know? Be creative. Be creative in making something. Do art. Do a craft. Do writing. Take your phone and go outside and photograph your world, you know? Every piece of art, that's art, that you do is about you. Each piece is a reflection of you. You learn something new about yourself. It's not about anybody else. Somebody else may trigger what you show and share, but everything is coming from you and it's coming, it, it, it reveals more about you. So keep that in mind. Everything you share is just another piece of yourself. And you have to keep going. I keep going with these little paintings, these little treasures. I make large paintings, you know, from these ideas. Um, until the next big thing comes around where I absolutely know this is the thing I need to do without a doubt. And that's how my life has been up to this point. I've chosen the big thing, you know, and I have no idea what that is anymore, you know. Those, it's different. Things have shifted. Things are different. But I want to really encourage you to find something creative to strengthen your intuition. We need our intuition now more than anything. So art does that. Writing does that. Photography does that. Uh, journaling does that. You know, I did a piece last week. I thought it was about contrast and values. Then I journaled about it. And it was, it became, I was on the shore, solid, my feet planted, grounded. The sea was this world, rocky, unpredictable. The surface is ebb and flow, you know, and you're, you're in ebb and flow in your life. And you just have to make the best you can. But far off in the distance was this huge white cloud that almost became like a cave of light as I journaled about it, see. And to me, that was like light at the end of the tunnel. There's a good place I'm headed, and I have to just keep going forward. So these lives, doing my art, doing small pieces, experimenting with different media, all of these things move me forward. So you have to have no doubt, you know? You have to just keep moving forward. You know, you're going to find out, you're going to answer questions like who you are, where you really belong, where you're going, why are you here? You know, these are the things that you can ask in your journal and you'll learn from your art and from your writing. Okay, now I'd like to get in here and use my turquoise. I'm wearing turquoise. Turquoise is my healing color, you know. Somebody asked about my palette. Well, hey, it's my palette. Your palette can be whatever you like, you know. Um, but I'm not going to just change just because of, of a palette. I'm going to turquoise is my healing color and that's what I need at this time so let me move you in closer and let's see what we can end up with here at this at better level and maybe get the light a little brighter move you in a bit so you can see this whole thing okay so I have this idea about turquoise and um, I've sketched out a few little things um, let's see if you can see Let's see if we can get you brighter. Bright, bright, bright. And um, my healing colors have always been turquoise and kind of a golden color. And so I want to work with that. And um, I have my palette. I have some turquoise. I have some Prussian and uh, I want to get a real deep color kind of going here. I use a little bit of bird sienna. 
I really want to get into a deep kind of a turquoise. Oh, that's rich. That's rich. I find with this wet palette, it kind of keeps my paint a little wetter than usual. But, you know, you learn as you go. Let me find my good blending brush here. So, let's get, let's get the deepest right in through here. I have a little land coming in right in. Get these deep tones coming in. You know, turquoise came into my life years and years ago. I started meditating before I would go off to teach. And um, I'd get up a little earlier in the morning and it set my day. You know, it was just like, wonderful but I wasn't into seeing any images at that time you know so it was like I needed to uh, what I saw was color I always saw color and uh, my color was turquoise there would be other colors and then I'd kind of go deeper and deeper and then the deepest color was always turquoise Turquoise became my healing color from then on. I want to shift to a little bit. Get a little bit of blue happening. So I have a plan, sort of, but as I go along, that's when the intuition will click in. And see where I end up. I'd love to know what you're doing, what you think, if you're doing any art. Is art helping you? Have you, you know, reached a a block in the road or anything and you know whatever creative thing it is that you could do you'll be so good for it you know you're not doing it for anybody else but yourself whatever it is whatever you enjoy that's got to be the way to go. So these are all acrylics. And, you know, I use whatever I have. I'm not, um, I'm not into, you know, well, you know, let's just use oil paint or something. No, no. You know, what I have is what I use. A little more turquoise coming in right through here. to carry it down. So I'm into being grounded. So I'm into sky. I'm into um, shores. 
sure. Turquoise water by the shore. I finally got to see my daughter <laughs> and she really liked the turquoise. It reminded us of, uh, we used to go to St. John in the old days and it was fun. And, certainly memorable and and you know it's like um, I have a friend who loves the beach and she was told carry that feeling of the beach wherever you go that's that's where you want to be that's the space you want to be in So, I think that's great advice, you know. You are responsible to keep yourself happy, to keep yourself in flow, to move forward in life, to not get bogged down by anything. Uh, you're not responsible for the world. Now I have some, hmm, I have a bit of, I'm kind of thinking I should change brushes. Let's see, what do I want this to be? I've been working on different colors of sand. different tones coming in. With water, to paint water, you really have to kind of move in the direction of water. to carry through those strokes. Kind of a soft edge. Sometimes things happen. They look like little ripples and things, and that's good. And then it gets a little bit lighter. Pinker. You know, when you add a lavender to it, you get kind of a gray tone that kind of lightens things up a bit. And carries you through. And then it would be much whiter. So, you know, anyway, uh, we can connect, you know, over at my 
Hackalette Designs. You can sign up and get art tips on Sunday. You can get my my eight different um, composition types. You know, one thing to do is try doing different compositions. That keeps you going. I try that sometimes, you know, to just as an idea, as a jumping off point to kind of figure it out, figure out where I'm going with things, what I'm doing. Let's see. Get kind of a flow happening here. Foam waves. This is my big round brush. This is a good brush. Kind of let the brush do the work for you. A little bit of that bluish tones. You know, when I go to the beach, I see different tones. It's so almost like pearlescent, different tones happening. It's so beautiful. And, and it's so cool that the beach is a good place to go. You can keep your distance, you're outside. It's a great place to get, you know, to breathe deeply, be in nature. I've also been doing these um, nature walks, kind of meditations from Mike Dooley things. You know, one of the suggestions is to take a notebook and be out in nature and just observe, observe what's going on, observe nature. And uh, it's been really cool, you know. So no expectations, just get yourself out. And it's a good thing. You have to take care of yourself. You know, the media keeps trying to suck us in with every crazy outlandish thing there is, and you just can't, can't buy into it all. And, um... a brush from this is my favorite brush of all time I used this when I was in Chicago and it's a like a brush from like the um, uh, hardware store that I've cut down and I can just tap it into um, let's see if you can see what I'm doing here and and just kind of go and get little white foamy highlight things happening. Some texture going in through there. And I like that a lot. And then this, this mound here, this mound, I'm gonna switch over to the golden, my golden tones and my other brushes. I've also been using a filbert a lot. It's a wonderful, wonderful brush. Um, I'm kind of thinking, you know, you have to kind of keep some of the turquoise in with your color. So I mix a little bit of that in to get what, what, this, what this is happening here. So this is Naples yellow and a little bit of the turquoise. Mixing turquoise is real tricky. So if, I, if you find a good one that you like in a brand, it's good to have one that you can use for your mixing. 
and uh, we want a few different things to be happening here. We want a few different tones. And I found burnt sienna is a pretty cool color to mix. Kind of like you're in Naples. Get different strokes happening different things and have it coming down a little lighter at the top and coming down into something else happening down in through here. You know, it could be growth, it could be anything, you know, your eye puts it together, your mind makes it something. deeper tones happening in through here. You know, a good blending brush is really great. You can do so much with it. Get textures going like that. Um, back to my The neo color. Neo color to kind of break things up a little bit. Something look like it's happening here. I'm gonna switch to a little smaller brush, just widthwise, you know. How you hold a brush different size brushes change everything you know so we want to make it interesting put some of that in there Horizontals and verticals. Ooh, I got 
got a oh I got a whole big thing of how interesting oh I hope pulled a whole big thing over and well that's interesting what do I do about that that's gonna need some of the back to some of the hmm well there we go live okay let's see, let's see if we can get hmm Clean brush, clean brush. Nothing can't be fixed. As a little more turquoise. Squeeze the excess out of the brush, too. Mm, I really want this to be a bit, looks like a little bit of. But you know. Whatever you do, make it look intentional. Planned all along. Make it work. It makes that corner kind of interesting now. And then back to my, whatever I have here, sand dunes. Growing up in Chicago, you know, the sand dunes was the place to go. Interesting tones. You get interesting tones when you mix your colors. Kind of like go kind of vertically like they're grasses or something. Going right there along the edge. You know, people are always all looking for their lifeline. They're all looking for what, what works. They're all looking for their people. And uh, it's, you know, seeking, finding your connection. It's not always easy. Finding your people. Finding people that, you know, will encourage you and lift you up and and be loyal and stay with you and and hang in there and uh, that's that's a wonderful thing to have but you know if we're if this makes anybody <laughs> in the least bit if it lifts their spirit a little bit I'm happy. That's good. I'm happy doing it, you know. And in that vein, too, I will be working on putting some of these out there as prints and more available. It's just, uh, you know, Keeping your spirits up, I know, it gets tricky. It's very, very tricky. Yeah, that may be just a little bit of... Watery blending in through here. Put 
put paint on, wipe paint off. It all works. I guess just a little bit more veil. Um, it's a little bit kind of a neutral, kind of a gray. Get an edge going here. It's almost, you know, alizarin crimson, ultramarine gives you kind of a purple. And it's a great neutral. Oops, there goes that turquoise again. I really have to clean off this brush. Kind of like that. And then really like my little pointed brush. Just kind of Bring some shapes in and some growth. Here and there, grasses, something happening. The deepest colors, viridian. contrast. Coming up through there. Sometimes the darkest is the last thing to put in. Contrast is good. You know, just kind of stuff happening. Here's about the time, okay, take a step back, get a little bit more of that contrast going on then through here. Well, that's interesting, okay. Take a step back, take a look at it, and maybe just add with that filbert brush a little bit more um, kind of highlights in through here. Like when the, you see the brush strokes. Kind of doing different things.
Where's my tea? Pretty good. Pretty good for now. It's kind of a lot of stuff happening. Um, a little bit of highlights. little bit of I think that's what I would work on now putting in some of these ripples on the water I think I would use um, Wonderful. Wonderful itsy bitsy teeny little number two filbert brush and some of the white and um, take some of the white on a palette knife and just kind of work through. ripples in the water. This is where, you know, painting takes time. makes those frowns and happy faces and then swirls and they kind of connect and flowing. a few here and there, a few little broken lines crossing over. foam or something. And um, they make little shapes, you know. Like, you muddy up the colors too much. I'm going to sit with this one. I'm going to check it out tomorrow, see what I think. Um, do I dare put a little bit of this? the heck. Take a chance. You don't know what it's going to do. All right. Hmm. Interesting. All right. I think 
I think now maybe. <laughs> now maybe I'll, I'll step away. What do you think? All right. Okay. 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 Now I'm going to step away. Now I'm going to say, okay, it's done. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll be taking pictures of this and putting it out there in a in print form. I'm going to try for that this weekend. And um, thanks so much for being here. Give me a thumbs up if you're here or anything, you know, say a hi or something. And uh, I'll see you next Friday. Thanks so much. I appreciate you. Bye for now.